What is your emergency? Three. Three people. Ma'am, what's the problem? Three people are dead. I... killed... them. Ma'am. Ma'am. There's a difference between like good independent films and The Devil Inside. <laughs> Did you record that? Yeah, I'm recording all of this. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, here we go. So, let's talk about the movie that just came out this weekend, uh, which is The Devil Inside, and it was actually the number one movie. Really? Yeah. Um, which is funny, considering we still had Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol out, which I hear is fantastic. Yeah, that's gotten good reviews. So. Holy shit, it's good. And what, uh, what, we also have The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, which, I'm sorry, guys, if you really want to see a film that can slightly scare you, go see that one. I mean, if you've read the book, holy crap. But anyway, Devil Inside. Here we go. Ah. <laughs> How many exorcism <laughs> movies do we need? That's my question. I mean, well, I, a new one comes out every year. It's, it's true. Always like what was last year's last year's one was what? Last Rites with Anthony Hopkins yeah. and like and that one I heard was so terrible. I and that's that even had Anthony Hopkins, guys. I mean, and Anthony Hopkins, if he can't make a movie work, I mean, you know yeah. it's bad. No one can make an exorcism movie work except The, the Exorcist. Exorcist. Thank you. And yeah. it's like, I, we talked about this as we were watching the trailer. I, the reason The Exorcist is so good is because The Exorcist, at least in my opinion, I don't think started, was trying to be a horror film. You know, it was... It, storytelling. Yeah, it was, it was saying, here's, a, here's this woman who has a daughter who she believes to be possessed, and here's a priest. You know, and I'm pretty sure that the priest isn't the best person on the planet. But even then, it's the story of these three people just working on this one moment, you know, uh, this exorcism of this one girl, which is what makes the movie powerful in its own way, and yes, scary, yeah, the girl's head spins, but like, it's not so over the top or anything, it's like all these exorcism movies are trying to do what the exorcist did, and the exorcist Except they do it throughout the whole movie. Right, you know? it's like... It's too much. Right, it's like the, that, there was that one moment where the girl's head spin and vomit was coming out, and that's what made that one moment scary as yeah. hell, because it was one moment mm -hmm. of it, not Thousands yeah, that's of it. we were talking about this earlier. That's what makes a good horror movie, right? Is, you know, if it's just telling a story and you get into the characters first, and mm -hmm. you can really relate to the characters, and then all of a sudden shit starts happening, and then you're already invested in the story, and you're right. like, what's gonna happen? Yeah, but I don't get the sense that that's gonna happen with this movie, and I'm not no. interested in that main character. What who? What is that actress? I don't, uh, I don't know who the actress is. I know I, the character's name was like Isabella or something. Yeah, Isabella. Ooh. Whoever plays Isabella, she just looks so passive. Like everything she's she very, says, she's very she's very like, I don't really care what's happening. And I'm like, I. Don't. <laughs> I don't want to watch your story. She's then. very I don't and, care. And Isabella, the character of Isabella, is apparently very, very scared that she's going to uh, have going to go the way her mother went because apparently her mother was possessed and killed three people. Uh, which you know, she may have been possessed, or maybe she's crazy, which is a possibility. People are allowed to be crazy. Yeah. Um, and except her arm is all like that, and I don't think that that's. I don't. I think, normal. See, to me, I'm watching. I watched that scene. And I'm just like, you hired a contortionist. That's all I said. <laughs> I was like, you hide her contortionist. I mean, and I'm coming from the Catholic Church, ladies and gentlemen, so I understand exorcisms. Um, but I mean, I personally was like, you know, there's a difference between being possessed and then like taking the possession to a point of let's make sure everyone just is scared out of their wits. Because this is just one of those movies where it's just thrill after thrill after thrill and a thrill, and it's nothing. It has no substance, no nothing. It might as well just be like, you know, a really bad brand of shampoo. I mean, what else are you what else are you gonna do with it? I mean, as we said, like The Exorcist is such a good movie, is because you are invested in these characters, invested in what's happening to this poor little girl and what happens to the mother. I mean, mm -hmm. and what happens to the priest and like all this stuff. You're invested in it. You're not gonna be invested with these characters. And also, it has that weird handheld thing with the camera, like it's a documentary. Oh, yeah. They're trying to make it seem like it's real. Like at the beginning, it's like this is a real 911. Right, right, like right. That. Yeah, real 911 call. This actually happened. And right. I'm sick of watching movies like that. I'm like, okay, Blair Witch Project was great. Let's, let's exactly. Not do this and then, again. like you know, when you do things like you know, I mean, like the Paul Greengrass's beautiful United 93, which he used handheld for, is good for United 93 because I mean, it's a terrorist attack. But Paul Greengrass knows what he's doing when it comes to a handheld picture. I mean, born supremacy, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Greengrass. I mean, the man is fantastic. But you're right. It's like this is yeah. all real. She actually killed these people. Like, really? Did she? Actually actually kill these people or are you just trying to scare people five seconds into the movie? Yeah, and if it was actually real, I don't think you would actually catch that many moments on tape. Uh, true. 
It's true. You know, you, you know, catch this, a lot more boring stuff. She she makes perfect sense, ladies and gentlemen. Not gonna lie. <laughs>